from Manhattan, where the Who are going to take the stage in a couple of hours to play before about 60,000 people. It should be quite a show. It's the wrap-up of a four-night stand. The Who, of course, started out a quarter century ago playing tiny little clubs like the Marquee in London. On this 25th anniversary reunion tour, however, they're playing monster stadiums almost exclusively. Stadiums are not the best places to hear and see or try to see live rock acts. But as Pete Townsend told us, the Who is doing its best to make these stadium shows a memorable experience for all who attend. And the audiences apparently have been doing their best to welcome the group back. I've been really pleased by the generosity of the audience. You know, they're paying a lot of money and they're going through a lot of uh, aggravation to get to shows. I mean, stadium being in a stadium audience is no fun, really, uh, un un unless you're really, really... Uh, you know, out with a gang of people and can ha you know what I mean, if you can have a really good time just between yourselves, but, but uh, uh, which I know a lot of people do, but you know, it's, it's not the, necessarily the best way to see music. So, so people have been really very generous, I think, about, about taking what they feel is the best. And that's what, I think it helps having a three and a half hour show because we're covering a lot of music and generally we're touching the spots that people Okay, after the Who finish up here, they'll be taking off across the country, heading west. They'll be playing Washington, Philadelphia, Boston, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and Cleveland this month alone. We'll be back half an hour.